So welcome back to Jack Infinity. So in this one, I'm going to be talking about my experience buying fish at Pets at Home and why you shouldn't buy from there and buy elsewhere. So yeah, let's go and get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by um, my like whole experience. Okay, so last year in about November, end of November, I was like, um, I want to get some fish. Okay, so I bought a fish tank on Amazon, which was 20 liters because I thought... Like, I didn't want a, a massive one, you know. I just wanted, like, an average size one. So, 20 liters is pretty average. So, I got that. Got it all running. Added the dechlorinator. Um, had it running for about a week before I went and got the fish, okay? So, I didn't know what fish I was going to get because I was kind of new to it. So, I went to Pets at Home. And I looked at, like, the um, goldfish at first. Because on the, like, label, it says... Um, only suitable for over 19 liters. So I, I had a 20 liter, so that means the goldfish could fit in there. So I was like, mm, okay, I want this goldfish. So it was a black moor, and I love the black moor because it just looks so cute. So I asked the um, person that worked there, and I was like, can I get one of these black moor goldfish? And then he was like, oh, your tank is way too small. Um, which, yeah, it is. Yep, now I've kind of researched it. Yeah, it is small, but the label says it was suitable for 19 liters plus. So, that was a wrong label. So, I was like, okay, that's fine. Then, he was like, you can choose between the zebra danios or the platyfish. And I couldn't get the minnows because the minnows, apparently, would they would die if I got them because... My tank is so new and the minnows were quite small. So I was like, okay, I'll get the platyfish. I could get two platyfish that day for my 20 liter. Um, which he only gave me two. Like, he didn't give me four or anything. So, and then what, these were the two platyfish I got that day. These two. And it was in a 20 liter and they kept hiding. Like, it was just so pointless to have fish in that tank. Because two liter, I mean, two fish in a two, 20 liter tank is just not enough like it's just no point of having it because they were hiding behind the whole time and you couldn't see them so I was like um I'm not really happy with two platy fish because they're so boring so I was like okay I'm gonna get two goldfish but I'm not going to pets at home so I actually went to um another aquatic center it's called Maidenhead Aquatics which is kind of like another um chain store like quite a big store um and I was like, okay, I'm getting it from here because pets at home, the goldfish were in such bad quality. Like, they were all, like, um, they weren't really moving that well. They were just, like, sitting there. I just could tell. Like, I'm not even experienced in fish keeping, but I could tell that they were not good quality. So, I went to, um, like, a whole shop that was, like, based on fishes. So, I got these two from there so the two goldfish which was the um black moor and then the gold i mean the aranda um fancy goldfish and then i got six of these zebradanios and two of these pearl white zebradanios so they were actually really good those um that shop because they didn't ask so many questions like oh how big is your tank oh my gosh like it's just a bloody fish. Like, even if I did put it in a small tank, it doesn't matter. Like, people eat fish. Like, two trillion fish are killed every year for food. And you're not going to let me buy a silly goldfish? Like, oh my gosh. Anyway, so they were really good. Then I went back to Pets at Home because I wanted to get more platy fish. Because, oh yeah, bearing in mind, I bought this um 105 liter fish tank it's actually really big it's 105 liter i bought that because i wanted to get the goldfish um i wasn't planning to put the goldfish in the small tank because yeah it's too small it's gonna get way too um toxicated with ammonia and everything so i went back to pets at home and i was like okay i want some white mountain minnows and some platy fish for my 105 liter gold i mean fish tank and bearing in mind when the guy said, oh, what, how many fish do you have in your tank already? And I was like, only have, I only have one black moor and two platyfish. So I actually lied because 
that's what you have to do. Because if I told the truth, he wouldn't sell me any fish. So I lied and I said I only had one um, black moor and two platy fish. Because it was the same guy from last time. So I, I couldn't really lie about the platy fish. And then I was like, okay, can I have some white mountain minnows and some and two party fish? And he was like, no, because the blackmore is going to eat the white mountain minnows. Like, what the heck? They're not that small, first of all. Like, this, only if it was like, um, only if the blackmore grew to its maximum size, maybe it could get the white mountain minnows. But who cares? It's just a bloody fish. Anyway, um, I was like, okay. And, like, literally, it's so annoying. So, he didn't sell me any fish that day. So, I went all the way there and he didn't sell me any fish. The thing, the problem is, is that they're so concerned about their fish welfare. But then, their tanks there, there are so many fish dead already in that tank. Like, they have, like, a double standard. Like, oh my gosh. Like, they would be doing much better in my tank than their, like, intoxicated tank where there's fish all dead at the bottom. So, I was, like, so annoyed that day. So, yeah. Um, then I went back another time and I was wanting to get two platy fish. And this time it was a different person. It was actually a lady. And, um, I was, like, I lied. I said I had a 20 liter with two platy fish that day. So I was like, oh, can I add two more to it? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, thank God. And I bought them home, did all the right procedures. I I acclimated them. Um, you know, I did the whole thing. And both of them died within four days. And bearing in mind, my tank is not overstocked. This is 105 liters. And I've actually got the correct amount of fish in there. I do water changes very frequently. And I've got a really good filter that has biomedia in it. It's, it's an established tank. I know I've, I've done a lot of research and my tank's very established. It's crystal clear. It's immaculate. So they died. And I feel like the reason they died was because it was um, from the previous tank where it was so intoxicated that they were already going to die anyway. So they're not good quality tanks there. Like literally, it's so bad. So... Also, another bad thing about Pets at Home is that their fish, these two patty fish I got from Pets at Home, and they were all black with full of ammonia burns, and I had to, it took me a while to actually get them immaculate, because ammonia burns are not permanent sometimes, they can be, but they're not always, and they had so much bad ammonia burns, and I was like, oh my gosh, and then I had to kind of like cure them, you know? Also, what's also bad about Pets at Home is that they're... Um, service is so bad. Literally, I went to a different pets at home to get some more platy fish after the ones died. And literally, I went there, waiting there, and they were taking so long to get there because all of their fish um, tank things are all positioned in the same place. It's always in the corner of the store. So, like, there's no, like, person, employee waiting there to like serve the customers. So I literally was waiting there. And then I was like walking around the shop trying to find an employee. And there was nobody there. Like literally so bad. Like, oh my gosh. So my mom got so annoyed and we just left. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay. So we didn't get, we didn't end up getting two more potty fish because yeah, we didn't have the opportunity. And then lockdown happened. So it was all closed anyway. So... Yeah, the reason why I don't like pets at home is because they're so over the top with their policies, like, with their fish welfare. Like, oh, you need this much um, liters of water. You need a filter. You need an air bubbler. You need everything. Like, literally, if I wanted to get a goldfish and put it in a bowl, I should have the right to do that. Because literally, it's only a fish, yeah. We kill two trillion fish every year just for food and entertainment. Like, I don't think a goldfish living in a bowl for a couple months and then dying after that, it's not that big of a deal, okay? And my fish are in an 105 liter tank. Like, this is kind of ridiculous. Like, two fish, really? Is that it? Oh my gosh. Um. So, yeah, I really don't like pets at home. 
So I recommend you go to another place. Try and support like local businesses and stuff. So yeah. Bye. <laughs>